All right, we're going to take a look today at um, combining like terms that are put together in groups. All right, so the first thing we got to do is take a look at what the operation is in between. Okay, so we're going to add this group to this group of uh, terms. So we have 2x cubed in this first group, and we have to look to see if we have an x cubed in that second group. So very much like we did before, we categorize. We could say x cubed, we have 2x cubed. We can cross it out. We're going to add. So you always go here to this middle um, operation. And then we're going to add it to a positive x cubed. So we can keep that like that. And remember, there's a 1 in front of this x cubed. So 2x cubed plus 1x cubed is 3x cubed. So we're done with x cubed, so cross them out. Right, next, we're going to look at the x squares. So we'll set up our x squares. And what we have is a negative 5x squared. So we negative 5x squared. Okay, and we're going to add it to a 2x squared that we happen to have in the second group. And when we total that, negative 5 plus 2 is a negative 3x squared. And we can cross those out. All right, next, in the first group, we still have an x, but we don't have anything in the second group to add to it that is like terms. So this x just comes down, and it's a positive x, so we write positive x and keep it. And lastly, cross it out. Um, and lastly, we go to numbers, any kind of numbers that might be left. There are no number terms in the first group, but we are adding a negative 1. So we'll take that as a negative 1, and that is our last term that we had to combine and put together. So now we take all of the terms that are left on the ends of our answers in our categories, and we can write them as the final answer. So this would be 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 1. And that's your final answer for combining like terms. Next, we're going to have, look through here, and we've got x squares, x's, and numbers. And here we have x squares, x's, and number terms. So we can set up right away our categories. All right, so we'll start with our x squared category. And we have 3x squared. And we're going to bounce off of this middle operation between the groups. This says I'm going to add to whatever's in this group. And it's an x squared. And remember, there's a 1 in front of that x squared. So write it if you don't see it. 3x squared plus 1x squared is 4x squared. And you can cross those out. You know you're done with them. Next, we have x's. We have a positive x, and we're going to add it to a positive 4x, so we can just leave it as 4x. Remember, there's a 1 in front of this x if you don't see it, so write it. 1x plus 4x is a positive 5x, and you want to write the sign so you don't forget it. And then when you're done, cross out your x's so you know you finished them. And next, we have number terms. We have a negative 6. We're adding it to a negative 10. So when we're adding two negatives, we keep the sign. And 6 and 7, uh, and 6 and 10 makes 16. Negative 6 plus negative 10 is negative 16. So our final answer will be taking all of these on the ends or after our equals here. And we'll write 4x squared plus 5x minus 16, and that is our answer for our problem. Right. Now we're going to subtract groups, okay? So we have the group 4n squared plus 5 minus everything in this group. So we're going to subtract the negative 2n squared plus a 2n minus a 4. So there's a few ways you can do it. One is through distributive property, or one is just to follow the subtraction. Okay, So we've got n squareds, we've got number terms, and we have n terms. So I'm going to start with the n squared terms. 
4n squared. We're going to bounce it off of this operation. We're going to subtract. And we're going to subtract a negative 2n squared. So I'll cross those out. And when I have a double negative, a minus a negative, that really is plus. So just like in multiplication, two negatives make a um, positive when you're multiplying them. And so we got 4n squared plus 2n squared, which is 6n squared. All right, next we're going to go to our... Um, you can go to your number term if you want, but I would go to the n term just because it follows in succession. We don't have an n term here, but we do have to bounce off the fact that we have this minus sign. So we're subtracting whatever is in this second group. So we're subtracting a positive 2n. Well, a negative times a positive is a negative. So it's a negative 2n for our final result. And lastly, we're going to do our number terms. And we have 5 in the first group still, so we'll cross them out. And we forgot to cross out our 2n, so let's do that. And then we're going to bounce it off of our negative, our minus sign here, I'm sorry, minus sign. And we're going to minus a negative 4. So neg minus a negative means that you're going to add. So it's 5 plus 4, which equals to positive 9, and we want the sign on it. And our final answer is going to be what we have hanging off our equals here. And we'll say it's 6n squared minus 2n plus 9. And that's our answer. And lastly, last problem, we have 4n squared minus 3, I'm sorry, 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus the quantity of 3x squared minus x minus 8. It's a lot of minus signs in here. So we have x squared terms, x terms, and number terms, and we have the same in the second grouping. So we're going to start with the x squared terms. And we have 4x squared in the first. We're going to bounce it off of our minus sign in between our quantities, and we're going to subtract a 3x squared. And this is going to go away. And we're going to total that up. 4x squared minus 3x squared is 1x squared. And next, we're going to go into our x terms. And we have a negative 3x. We're going to subtract a negative x. And that is a 1 in front of that x, so you can write it so you see it. Clean this up. This is a double negative. Negative times negative is positive, so it's three, negative 3x plus 1x. And so negative 3x plus 1 is negative 2x. And so we can get rid of the x terms. And lastly, we have our um, number terms. We have a plus 5. So a positive 5. We're going to bounce it off of our minus sign in the middle. We're subtracting, but we're subtracting a negative 8. So this becomes a positive, so 5 plus 8, which equals 13, and it's a positive 13. So our final answer is everything off of the equal sign, and we have 1x squared minus 2x plus 13, or you can just do x squared minus 2x plus 13, and that is your final answer.